Hey guys, we are live. It's Tuesday and it's three o'clock and we are live for the Tuesday live session. And in this session, we answer all of the entrepreneurial questions that you guys send on the live session and we chat about it. But today, we are actually doing the live session from the Dragonsberg. So if you can see in the background there, we are at Artikafia Dragonsville. And tomorrow I'm doing a talk here by the Jurg Leierskap Imposium um, for the grade seven students of next year. So for the youth leadership program of the Arctic of year, I'm doing a talk. I'm gonna motivate them a bit. I'm gonna tell them that it's possible to achieve your dreams and I'm gonna invest a bit in the youth tomorrow. So it's awesome, very excited about that. And that is why we are from Arctic of year Dragonsville today. Andres, thanks for joining in. Lydia, Klaas, hey guys, how's it going? And today we're going to talk a bit about New Year's resolutions. Okay, what's your New Year's resolution? Lydia, Klaas, Andres, um, Mariki, what is your New Year's resolution? Vic Victoria, what is your New Year's resolution? Type it on the comment section right now and then we're going to talk a bit about that today. Because a lot of people has a lot of things they want to do in the new year. They say, hey, I want to do this, or I want to do that, or I want to achieve this next year. And then on the 1st of January, everybody's just jumping in and trying to do all of these things at once. And what I'm saying is, don't wait for the new year. Don't wait for the 1st of January. Don't wait for your new year's resolution to only start it next year. Start it right now. Okay, start it right now. Why do you say that, Albert? On the live session, we have Andres, Lydia, Klaas, um, Mariki, Victoria, uh, the greatest sound man, and then Wolfstone, and Mariki. Yeah, Mariki is saying, I agree to it now. Why, Albert? Why do you say that? The thing is that your body gets used to a pattern. Right? It gets used to habits. Like for example, if you get into the shower every morning, I promise you, you start with the same part of your body that you wash. You put the shampoo on the same spot. You do it in the same order. And that way, you get used to that pattern that you have. You get used to the pattern and it becomes natural. And your brain doesn't have to think about it anymore. Because thinking about things takes energy. And that is why your body wants to build patterns. It wants to build habits. And what happens is a lot of people with New Year's resolutions want to change three things or five things. For example, they want to start going to the gym, right? They want to exercise. They also want to start working extra hours a day. They want to work till 12 at night. I'm just going to shift a bit for the win. They want to work till 12 at night. And then they also want to start reading more. Uh, business books, reading more um, content. And they want to start these three things on the 1st of January for 2019, right? And, and the problem is that their bodies are not fit to do that. You don't have the habits set in place yet. You don't have the, the drive to get you through those things. Um, and the problem is that they start with that and then they fail quickly, they fail soon. For example, let's take working extra hours. So your New Year's resolution might be, hey, for 2019, I want to work till 12 every night. And then on the 1st of January, you kick off, right? And you want to start just working till 12. What you'll so soon find is you're gonna burn out because your body's not used to working till 12. I work till 12 every night, but I've been doing it for years. So my body grew accustomed to the work hours. So I say, start now with that New Year's resolution. Start working till 10 from now on. And then in the half of December, you start working till 11, right? And then in January, you can start working till 12. But you have to ease it in. You have to make these New Year's resolutions a part of your process, a part of your habits, a part of what you So guys, today I'm at Dragonsville, Articofia Dragonsville. Uh, we 
now here for a talk that I'm doing tomorrow at the Article 4 Leierskap Jeug, Leierskap Emporium. And it's a bit windy today, but the view is amazing. There's mountains all around us here. It's great being here with you guys today. And we're talking a bit about New Year's resolutions, right? And how to tackle them in 2019. And on the live session, we've got Andres, Lydia, Klaas, Mariki, Victoria, um, the great Salman Baden, Dylan, Wallstone, Sikosi, and Berna. Guys, send through on the live session. What is your New Year's resolution? What do you want to do in 2019? So I use the example of three things. Let's say you want to go to the gym, you want to read more, and you want to work later in the evenings, right? Tackling all of those three things in January, on the 1st of January, is not going to be possible. You need to ease into it, you need to make those things part of your habits, part of your lifestyle over time. And they say it takes, the, the clever people say it takes about 30 days to make a new habit, to create a new habit. So I'm saying start today, take one thing at a time. Let's say start with working a little bit later. Then when you get that done and it's part of your routine, then you start going to the gym, adding some then when that's part of your routine and you can do it without burning out, then you start reading a bit more. So those three things you put in generally and you put in you escalate it step by step. Don't try to hit everything once with a bam. It's gonna be problematic and you might burn out. Andrews is saying to excel in my business and make a huge success. Andrews, great news resolution. The problem is that it's a bit vague. How can you measure that? How can you measure excelling in your business and making a huge success? I'll suggest Andres set certain goals. Like if you want to say, I want to excel in my business, say I want to work 10 hours a day on my business, right? Say, um, what is your form of, you, want to, you said you want to create huge success, say I want to start generating 100 grand turnover a month, right? Have some concrete, um, like goals or lines that you can tackle and that you can measure that with. Andres, does that help? Send the shop on the live session. If you're enjoying this live session, send the shop and if you have any questions, send them through. Uh, Klaus is saying his New Year's resolution is networking, talking to other business people for sparking new ideas, refining old ones and making contacts. Okay, awesome Klaus. That's a great, great New Year's resolution. It's always great to network. Um, for example, you can say that you need to go to one networking event, one entrepreneur event, once a month. And that's your New Year's resolution for a start. And you can start now in December. There's a few events still in December. And you go to one a month. And then you can ramp it up to two a month. And then you can ramp it up to three a month. Until you get to a point where you want to be to a networking event. Um, just joined on the live session. We have Lorenzo, Armand, Dion. Nal, original house in Chanel. Uh, guys, we're talking a bit about New Year's resolutions. What is your New Year's resolution? Send it through on the live session right now. And I'm saying, don't wait till the 1st of January to start working on that New Year's resolution. Start implementing it right now. You have 30 days to make it part of your habits, to make it part of your routine, to ease into it so that it's actually sustainable. Because a lot of people jump into it on the 1st of January and it's not sustainable. They burn out so quickly. So you need to ease into it, create a sustainable habit that you can keep on doing and don't try to tackle five New Year's resolutions at once. Tackle one at a time, then add the second one, then add the third one. As your body and as your lifestyle gets used to these new habits, and new tasks and new actions that you want to make a part of you and of your life. Guys, that was my thought for the, for the day in terms of New Year's resolution. I challenge you, go out today, write down what you want for January and start implementing it today. And on the 31st of December, you already have some progress and you have already have something you can look at and see how far you've come. So from Article Fear Dragonsville today, that was the live session that was my thoughts go out do it implement you'll see the difference it makes by the time you hit the 31st of december cool guys so we had andres lydia Klaas, mariki victoria barent wealthstone 
Sikursi, Bernard, Renzo, Ricardo, Armand, Dian, uh, Simone Nel, Reginald Gijs, uh, Chanel. Guys, thank you so much for joining in on the live session. Bordent is saying good luck on tomorrow. Enjoy the little ones. Yes, I'm speaking to, to the grade 7 leaders uh, tomorrow. If you want a sound man, check out the great sound men official. Barons, let them know what they're doing. Cool guys, see you again next week Tuesday at 3 on the live session. Get your entrepreneurial questions ready and next week Tuesday we're going to talk about some entrepreneurial problems, questions, things you want to know again. Awesome, enjoy your week.